Hey everybody, it's Todd Bartusek with Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate and the All Metro Real Estate Group. So happy fall to you. So I'm coming to you again with our market report for District 66. So what we're seeing right now, we're seeing things start to normalize, what I would call it. You know, last few years, the market's been crazy. Um, right now, things are kind of starting to slow down and normalize a little bit, um, which honestly, in the long haul, it's going to help everybody because the last couple of years when things were so crazy, if you're an FHA buyer or a VA buyer, you basically could, could hardly even win a deal. You couldn't even buy a house. So we really need that first time home buyer price point, which usually has a lot of FHA and VA buyers. We need those folks obviously to be able to buy houses because it creates a trickle up, right? So with the first time home buyer house, up to the second house, then the, se the then the next move up house, then on and on to the luxury and so forth. Um, so, you know, it's not doom and gloom. The bottom is not dropping out of the market. Our inventory is up a little bit, which is good, um, but we needed things to kind of slow down a little bit, um, you know, but so it also opens up some opportunities for more buyers. Um, so anyway, so what we saw in September uh, compared to August, we saw our, our sold units were down about 31%. So from 34 in, in September from uh, 49 in August. And those are closed units. And I know exactly why that happened, right? Because school goes back in August. People are pretty much buying prior to August. So houses that closed in August were typically going under contract in either June or July. So we were down about 31% for closed units overall in September. Now our average sale price was up about 18%. We went from 348 in August to about 412 in September. You know, we had some, you know, higher priced houses get listed. Our days on market stayed pretty close, went from six in August to nine in September. So again, that's for the overall market. Now again, what I like to call the first time home buyer price point, that's anywhere from zero to 300,000. In August, we had 25 units uh, closed, and in September, we had 19. So down about 24%, kind of the same thing, right? The houses were selling prior to August because people wanted to get into schools, especially for Westside. Um, our average sale price went from 224 to about 240, so up about 7% uh, in that first, home, uh, first time home buyer group. So that's really uh, positive news. And we went from six days down to four. So again, we went up in price, and we went down in days on market. So that's that's definitely a, 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 some positive features to look at there. So then the next uh, uh, segment I like to look at is 300 to 650,000. So we went from 20 units close in August to eight in September, 60%, okay? So, um, you know, not a lot of units were, were, were being moved, uh, you know, in that time frame, in that three to 650 range. Um, our, but our, our average sale price still went up, went from about 423 to about 428, up over just a little over 1%. So that's still a good sign that we were still continuing to see appreciation. And then the last uh, price group that I like to talk about is what I call the luxury market. That's 650 and above. So we had four units closed in August. We had seven units closed in September. Now that's a little bit different than the other groups a lot of times what you'll see in the luxury you might see some older buyers that they're not too worried about school, right? So we went from four in August to seven in September and we were up from 746, the average sale price in August to over $857,000 in September, 15%. Now we went from three days on market in August to 21 in September. We did have some higher priced houses in there but this is all still very positive news for the overall West Side market. You know, getting opportunities for other buyers to get into the market with the FHAs and the VAs, and our prices are still on the uprise. So if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask me. I've been doing this for almost 24 years, lifelong resident of, of uh, in District 66. Um, so. I'm here to answer any questions and obviously there's no obligation. Um, so please, if you like what you see here, you like following me and getting all this information, just remember to follow me on social media and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.